it's not that easy to drive on this road because now it's getting quite sandy and it can be quite slippery. Yeah, because the tires are on. It's not the it's not off-road tires on this route at least. everyone welcome back today Flo and I we're going to a different city and we'll also take the intercity train okay. Okay. I think that's so what we have is called a business lounge business executive. executive so it's more like a business class I guess yeah it is yeah the whole train is very spacious and the seats are very comfortable it's clean and there is a lot of distance between the two seats and there is even something here so that tall people can sit very comfortably in the train so now we have a six hours ride to reach Malang and honestly it's quite a comfortable train I have to say so there is air condition there's a lot of like space and the ticket it was around I think 20 20 euros West Java is dominated by volcanoes. There are 45 active volcanoes, and we're going to visit the most famous one, Mount Como. And Flo and I this time will again take a motorbike, but this time we got a, a more powerful motorbike. Yep, this time it's 150cc. It's a little bit strong and it's also a little bit modern, and the brakes this time also work, I hope. Um, so yeah, let's let's see how it goes. But I rode it for a couple of minutes, and to be honest, it's really fast. How long does it take to get there? Two hours. But maybe we manage to be faster. Although there is always not traffic lights, uh, you can always find people who are standing in the middle of the street, uh, navigating the traffic. As we are getting closer to the volcano, it's getting much colder, so we stop to wear our jacket. Oh. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Satu, satu. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just one. Yeah. Uh, Berapa? One, two, three, four, five. Five. Yes. Okay. Five. Can I have one loaf with me? Is this also coffee? Oh, yeah, Claren. Yes. Okay, one please. Do you all live you live here? No, no, no. No. Kota, kota, kota yo boyo. Kota. City. City. Malang City. Ah, Malang City. And you are here? Work. Work. Makanan. Apa yo? Makanan ringan yo boyo. Yes. Sorry, I'm not uh apa yo? Bahasa Inggris gue. Each of us got a coffee and there in Stratton coffee is quite interesting. There is real grounded coffee beans in it. Mm. And it smells really good. Halfway to Mount Pomo, we had our coffee, bought our ticket and went on riding. So while we are 22 kilometers from the destination, the navigation says it will take one hour and flow set impossible but now we realize why it can take so long because now we are going up and we are very heavy for this small scooter the maximum speed is 24 
Are you sure it's this way? Yes. Okay. At some point, we started to descend and the road is getting crappier. But this part is still quite high. So look at that. Huge grassland without so many trees. Wow. Wow. There are many sub roads, so we actually aren't are not very sure which is the right one. Not not seriously. Oh come on. <laughs> <laughs> It's not that easy to drive on this road because now it's getting quite sandy and it can be quite slippery. Yeah, because the tires are wrong. It's not the it's not off-road tires on this scooter. I yeah, let's see, it's gonna be it's a, it's doable with the off-road scooter. Okay, should we go straight or there? <laughs> no, let's go here. So the last two kilometers are dirt road. Seven kilometers, Bobo. Seven? Oh my god. Hey, I want to get off. Be careful. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Flo almost flew into the water, but luckily we made it. Well, if I was at the back, if I were at the back, we would definitely fall. That's true. Yeah, because it suddenly got deeper. <laughs> this is an adventurous guy's dream. <laughs> Motocross would be cool. By the way, this is all volcanic soil where we're riding on. That's why it's so dark also. By then, we didn't know that we were riding through the Cadera. This sand sea of large depression is formed by the collapse of a volcano Homo is still very active and erupts almost every five years. We are basically driving on the volcanic ash. We're very close to the volcano. That is a guardrail and it's not allowed to go to the other side because I guess it's quite sandy here so if you drive into it there is a danger that you will caught up in the sand yes.
cloud is rapidly approaching us and we can't see the road clearly. All we can do is to keep going because the next village won't be too far. This part, the sand is so so thick that I have to get off and Flo have to push it. crazy like in the end we flew the drone and then a cloud cloud was approaching and i heard thunder and i was getting really scared because we were in the middle of nowhere so we would have been a light uh, an easy target for lightning and then um, we continued and the cloud came really really fast and then you didn't see where to go anymore because it was so foggy and then at one point we got stuck but it was luckily just before the real road started again so was kind of an action, but now we made it here. So while we were riding, I saw some other local people. They are also on their scooters. In between those two villages, there is a huge area that is so sandy. Probably it's because of the uh, volcano ash. Uh, there is no hard pavement, but finally we've reached here. So we have two beds, like a standard room, shower, toiletry. So. The village we stayed is on the edge of the Kadara, with an altitude of 2,217 meters. We walk on the street. There are a few tracks that sell durian and rambutan, some stands that sell bakso, a soup with meatball and tofu. We went further and found a small shop that sells bottled fills uh, so we that can we buy can fill our shop. motorbike. Yeah. No, all. Oh. oh. Yeah, more. <laughs> First, let's start with one and then okay. she has to do it one by one. This is the closest, the only one that we found in this small village. And she has two bottles of petrol. Yeah, maybe another one. Two, yes. After securing the bike, we went back for dinner. We were very excited to try some new Indonesian dishes. The first dish we got is a soto ayam, a chicken soup with eggs and it has a coconut taste. This is Indonesian's national dish. Our second dish is called gado gado, so it's uh, boiled vegetables with uh, some peanut sauce. Our last dish is Javanese fried rice. So far we found that food in Indonesia is quite amazing. Um, it's very different from the other Southeast Asia dishes, such as Vietnamese or a Thai dish. Flo and I we woke up at 4 a.m. this morning for the sunrise. So this is the view. That's the village where we stayed. And this is Mount uh, Batok. And the one from which the cloud is rising, that Mount Pomo. Yeah, Mount Pomo is still an active volcano, that's why you can still see the smoke and later on we will even hike to the caldera to look into the crater.
are at the edge of the Mount Promo and it's roaring all the time so it's quite scary because there is very intense tectonic movement beneath the earth this is a moment when you can feel the power of nature but also you can also feel how frightening it is our today's ride is much easier because now we can see clearly where the road is and we also see a lot of other motorbikers who came with adventure bike and who can ride quite fast Yesterday we flew almost. Oh, fell. It doesn't turn on. Thank you. Be careful, be careful. Thank you, Miss. Keep pushing. They managed. No worries, no worries. So finally we took another road. The woman driver just now, she was just so relaxed and I think this happened to them very regularly and she just drove through the mud. be driving back to Malang. I hope you enjoy today's video and this beautiful landscape in Indonesia. It's just wonderful. So if you like our videos, please give us a thumb up. Thanks for watching and bye-bye. Bye-bye.